Welcome to Electron Online. Now that we've seen how to obtain the general solution to a non-homogeneous first order linear differential equation, we're going to do some examples on how to apply that. So here we have our first example, y prime minus y equals e to the 2x. Remember the non-homogeneous for form of a first order linear differential equation is written as y prime plus some function of x times y equals some other function of x. The general solution up there is y is equal to e to the minus h times the integral of e to the h times r dx plus c, remembering that h is equal to the integral of f dx. All right, so now all we have to do to find the solution to this differential equation is to recognize that, in this case, f is equal to negative 1, so f equals negative 1, r is equal to e to the 2x, and h is equal to the integral of f dx, which means it's equal to the integral of minus 1 dx, which is equal to minus x. Okay, having that as our, solu uh, as our intermediate solution, now we come over here, now we realize that y is equal to e to the minus h. Now since h is equal to minus x, e to the minus h will be e to the x times the integral of e to the h, which is e to the minus x, times r, r is equal as e to the 2x times dx plus a constant of integration. So we have y is equal to e to the x times, multiply this, the base are the same, we add exponents, we get e to the x dx plus a constant of integration. So now we can go ahead and multiply this through. So now we have y is equal to e to the x times e to the x is e to the 2x plus e to the x times c. And so simplifying that we have y is equal to c e to the x plus e to the 2x and that would then be the solution to our original differential equation. There's a few different forms that you could write it in. You could of course um, factor out an e to the x but we don't really need to do that so we say we could say well y is equal to e to the x times c plus e to the x if you like that form better but it doesn't matter. Either one will be just fine to represent itself as the solution to this differential equation. And that's how we do that. 